keep your eyes out for those bottles. Absolutely. Coal seam they were working here is about 36 inches. The headroom's about I don't know, six feet in some spots. Uh, so far, so good. And what you're looking at currently is the indentions where the cross ties would be. Uh, looks like they have removed the rail at least on this section, which is not uncommon. And there to the right, I'm panning. See the coal seam. What do you have there? Some kind of can. But I'm not sure what it says though. Just trying to uh, drop some glow sticks along the way. See these old, very old timbers supporting the top of the mine. You can see right there, you don't want to be under that. I'm trying to look in the walls right in here. Um, a lot of times when they were working, they would just discard and hide old bottles in there. Oh, here's a bottle right here. Are you one? Yeah, Coca Lula. Ah, uh -huh. there yep. you go. Pioneer. This is Coca Lula. As always, guys, you try to peer into the walls as well. Because um, two sets of eyes, it's great. But if we can have hundreds of thousands of sets, that would be even better. Excellent condition. Good roof, rooftop cover here, roof support. So we'll just uh, in a minute just start heading on way, heading our way down on the haulage way. It's like we're in the mouth of an alien. Try to navigate around that. That timber prop right there is on its last, last leg. Some of these cross ties are perfectly preserved. You can see that they just chop down trees and use that as the cross ties. Continuing to press on. Um, I don't know, I would say we've gone maybe 700, 800 feet. Um, not really seeing an end in sight. You know, normally, a large mine like this would have uh, parallel haulage ways where they would branch to the left, to the right. Um, interesting enough, we haven't seen one of those yet. Uh, it, you know, a name to it. Yeah, so Glow Stick Films, he, uh, he found a old whiskey bottle, old Quaker. Uh, no clue what the age, you know, we are... Assuming maybe what early 1900s. I would I would have to say so, but you know we could be wrong. We could check it. 
you know, when we get out. But Pretty cool, though. I mean, it's pristine, though. Dang, that's incredible. Great find. I mean, I can do a battery change on these lights. All right. Dude, these are some pretty impressive cross ties right here. It's about like entire full size uh, pine trees. Almost is. <laughs> we just haven't seen it. Keep. All right, let's push on through ballistic films. He decided to go ahead and go. It's a pretty crazy echo. Timber support there just rotted away. You can see the impression where it once was in relation to that one and that one. Countering some more stalactites. Got some decent sized headroom, maybe up to about six feet. See how clear the water is right now. And then as we look back, we get to walk and not see the bottom. Looks like we can go to the left or the right. lettering on it or not definitely looks old right. I'm gonna set it up right here okay. Okay. I got another old whiskey bottle right there yeah I didn't want to get you know over on my knees should be used to being on your knees yeah, no. <laughs> this one I honestly think this is going to take uh, multiple trips. So we'll just, I don't know, we'll, we'll have to see what we got. Oh, I just found something. Ah, if I can save it. I'll let you pull around on it. Hi, I got you. See what you think. Got you. Yeah, don't disturb the archaeological dig. We've got to <laughs> take it off. We've got to call people. Glass is old. Dude, it's, it's pretty much like concrete then. Yes. Yeah, I mean, that's... That's why I'm saying you know, those like thick gloves or something to... Uncovering the dinosaur. I learned this from watching National Geographic. Egyptian tombs. <laughs> yeah. Got it. There it is. There it is. Holy shit. Oh, sorry. No, you're good. Does it have any writing on it? Hell yeah. Oh my god. Now that is pretty cool. That's right. I learned that in Caveman 101. Man, now that is 
Okay, Mr. Boggs found this bottle. I That's an awesome to, find. I just had to use what I need. Oh, no. Uh, All right. I, it's, no, I see that. This must have been a very productive haulage way. Absolutely. I mean, look at this with coal seam, man. Look at this. Well, I mean, and it's evident with the coal seam as well as all the bottles. Incredible fossils on this right here. Oh, shit. That's as far as I'm going. He's going to stay right there. He found another bottle. So I guess we're just on a bottle hunt. So that's good. Right. And on the top of the floor, right up here. That is a very big drill bit. Fucking bottle. Are you kidding me? Right there. <laughs> <laughs> There's so yeah, many. It's clean. So many bottles in this mine. He just Dude, sat this on is, one. Uh, it is the same kind of beer bottle. Look. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah, once we get out of here, guys, we'll show you the collection. That's yeah, just this is not a G-rated film. So, yeah, my light picked up a reflection. We got something else caked in here. Wow. Might be another one. Okay. Put your digging stuff out. Not even looking in the mind anymore, man. Yeah. <laughs> You're just digging stuff out, man. I might need that piece of shell. Or right here. <laughs> you, you, you work on that for a minute. I'm going to take a picture of this one. <laughs> no, no, you're fine. So, yeah, just, just a fraction of this mine, guys. And like I said, I'm really intrigued to find out what Glowstick Films finds, finds out on this bottle. Every single one of these completely intact. Uh, got a Coca Lula circa 1910. Then just a Pioneer Bottling Works. That's probably 1905. Old Quaker, just a fraction of this mine, all that glass. That is crazy. Yeah. I'm just saying. So yeah, guys, uh, you know, since we only covered a fraction of this mine, you know, we will uh, definitely be back and hunt for some more relics. And, uh, you know, guys, just stay tuned. Okay. See you on the next one.